Hey what's up guys, Scoundthief here and welcome to this Team of the Season Marcus Berg review. Now guys, as you can see, this guy for 17k and as you can see on his card he's got a very nice looking 89 shooting. Anyway guys, 6 games, 8 goals and 0 assists. Not a bad record overall, but I do have to say I did feel I had to force some goals out of him. He does have some po positives, but um, he has got quite a few negatives which I will speak about uh, during the duration of this review. But guys, as you can see, once again, 3 star, 3 star, not great for a striker, I do not like to have four star but um yeah let's get into some in-game stats and some of them do look pretty nice 99 finishing i have to say i do not agree with that um his finishing was decent but definitely not that high standard 99 shot power i 100 percent agree with that he will blaze shots which is quite irritating at times because the amount of times this guy just slung a shot and it went far off the post was it was pretty stressful to be honest Looking at uh, some of the physical attributes, as you can see, 78 strength is one that's a bit debatable. In-game, this guy is possessed so easy when he's shoved about, just, just gets a pull on the shoulder and he'll very easily lose the ball. But in some occasions, he can hold up the ball uh, fairly well. As you can see, he can finish. I mean, he's finishing it at 99, he should be able to finish. And it's decent. That's, a, that's not great, it's decent finishing. One thing I do have to say is, his headers are very very powerful that is one thing that does stand out to me as you guys know I don't like to cross off them but if you cross a lot this guy will be a better performer for you because as you can see Alex Alex may be slow but he is strong tall and great at heading so to score that header was pretty damn impressive from Berg so I've got to give him props to that so heading is definitely a positive on this guy but one thing I do have to say is Look at that, like very easily dispossessed, but um, he's there to put, uh, to finish the goal, which is awesome. But one thing I do have to say as well is he's quite lazy. Sometimes he won't make runs, sometimes he will. You've pretty much got an LBA pass to get him moving. I understand he has medium-low work rates, but I didn't have that problem with Soriano. So yeah, that is another issue with him. But um, this one's a bit of an odd one. He's got the strength here to hold off Vorsa and just pr basically walk it around the keeper. Bit of an aid goal, I know, but at least he scored it. He's there to score goals. That's pretty much it. Anyway guys, overall I'm actually going to give Team of the Season Marcus Berg a 6, uh, no I'll give him a 7, I'll give him, be a bit generous, a 7 out of 10. I don't think he suited my playstyle, I think if you crossed a bit more, this guy would be better for you. His pace really doesn't match up to him in game, he didn't feel 79-80 pace at all, he felt pretty sluggish to me. He's got a decent shot on him though, so I'm sure someone with a better playstyle that crosses a bit more will have more success with this guy. But I'm not slating him too much because he was fun to use and uh, you can make some nice hybrids with him. So I'm sorry it's a short review, but um, yeah, I did struggle with this guy a bit and maybe he's just not my kind of player. As I say, I don't want to slate him too much. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. If you leave a like on this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Remember to check out all the other Team Season reviews on the channel. Apart from that, have a good day. Adios.